Hello and welcome to blog number 75, me learning to play the Melodeon. In the last blog that I put up, I was playing this funny little Hona Lilliput uh, instrument which is in the keys of um, B flat and E flat and I was playing a hymn called Onward Christian Soldiers. Uh, since that time I've done a video lesson on another hymn on the DG Melodeon. It's called a He Who Would Valiant Be or To Be A Pilgrim. You may know it better by that name. And it works really well on this B flat E flat, so I thought I'd show you a little bit of it on this instrument today. I'm still waiting to get this fettle, it's got a few funny raspy noises, but it's perfectly playable as it is. And I'll just talk a little bit about the tune first of all. One thing is very important when you're playing the melodeon, I've found, is to make sure you get your fingers in position, make sure you've got fingers available for uh, the run you're about to play. So for instance, the first part of the tune, um, this is the third button start, so on this E flat row, that note is E flat. So if you start off your second finger, you see that your first finger is needed on that low note. Coming back up to your E flat there. So all four fingers are used there, and that, that little pattern goes again. The next section jumps down quite a long way. You've come down about three positions to do that. Okay, and you can see you use both rows there, the E flat row and the B flat row. Then you come back to the E flat row with your third finger, so you get another position. Then use your little finger and set up your first position again. That gives you your final pattern and you're back to where you started. So let's just play the whole of that right hand pattern for you. And notice I have this style of playing where I um, use the bellows to sound the notes. So I do that quite like those opening few notes. Not everyone likes that. A lot of people prefer to uh, replay each button, but it's just the way I play. So a little look at the bass line. Um, a bit of a funny change there, isn't there? Um, let's, let's play a bit for you both hands. Gotta go. Gotta change quickly there from the pull to the push. Now this is got a G major on it. Um, so it's got uh, E flat major, C minor, G major. And G minor will work just as well. Then you've got your A, a flat major on this box, I'm trying to think carefully, not, not thinking G, G, but thinking B flat, E flat. Um, as I use my stepping up bass line there, so E flat bass with an E flat major chord, and then G bass with an E flat major chord. And then that phrase again. When you do this change here, do a couple of solid bass and chords together.
lots of air button uh, needed in this tune, especially on a box like this. If you don't know this hymn, the words come from the Pilgrim's Progress by uh, John Bunyan, uh, the old 17th century book, which you may or may not have read. And I believe the tune is an old uh, f English folk tune that was adapted and arranged by uh, Ralph Vaughan Williams in the early part of the 20th century. Uh, certainly one of my favourites from my school days, used to love singing this. Uh, along with lots of other hymns, including the other one, Onward Christian Soldiers. If you're contemplating buying one of these little lily puts and you've got slender fingers like me, I mean, that's, you know, that's a big factor. If you've got big fat fingers, you may struggle with this. Sorry to be insulting to you there, but I'm lucky I've got very thin fingers, so these little buttons are not a problem for me. But if you've got big fingers, you may struggle to play uh, a box like this. But it's, it's great fun. Light as a feather, of course, really, really light. I think it's only about four pounds or something. And uh, it's just lovely to noodle around on it's just to pick up. I really like the key of E flat and B flat. It makes a real change from playing in the higher pitched D and G keys. So that's the end of this blog. I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you do that, the bell icon will pop up. And uh, you, if you click that, you'll get a notification every time I upload something to YouTube. Thank you very much for watching and you'll see me in my next video.